this is. <laughs> Hi. Today we're going to be making homemade Harry Potter wands. Homemade magical wizard wands. Wizards <laughs> and witches wands, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we found this pack of wooden dowels. There's 10 in here for $1.79, right? I think yep. they were under $2. You get 10 in here at Joann's, and this is what they look like. And this is going to be pretty simple. Now, I will say we are going to be using some paints, and we're going to be using some hot glue. So, kids, if you're going to do this, it must be supervised. Uh, Leah and I both have hot glue guns kind of warming up off to the side here. And I think what we're going to start with is... Oh, God, maybe some gesso. Um, so, what we're using is we're using the sticks. We have a couple of paint brushes and stuff like this. We have paints, um, of the hot glue guns, and that's all the stuff we have. Okay, so we have some gesso. I think we should start with this because I think it will make... Well, I don't know um, if it's going to make the paint stick better. Maybe we should do the hot glue first and then gesso yeah. it. Yeah. Let's do that first. Okay. okay so... Um, here are paintbrushes. You can have this paint You can leave the paintbrushes over there. <laughs> we don't need those yet. We're going to start with hot glue. So I'm going to start first. And... I'm going to grab one. I'm going to start with just kind of adding... I'm going to add a, thing a on glob the at the end. Yeah, me too. Like, this is the base, so I want there to be like a rounded glob. I'm scared. <laughs> I think, my, okay, they can't I think see. my glue gun is too hot. I can't see. Yeah, you need to be right here in the middle. Oh, there you go. Okay. I'm trying to like turn it around while I'm doing it. And we do have a nonstick mat and some newspaper down to kind of protect our area. And make sure the hot glue doesn't stick onto yep. the area. Okay, this is kind of bad. Oh, you can always remelt it. This takes a while to dry, like a few minutes, but... Yeah, I want my end, like this will be my handle, to be like kind of thick and chunky. And then like, I want um, this to be thinner. So what I want to do is I want to kind of make it look like the... Ah, that's hot. <laughs> the other thing that we saw at the store, but they're really expensive. Like, it was like almost, uh -oh. almost $10 for... Just like 10 of them. Oh, that didn't do what I wanted it to do. <laughs> I thought maybe if it were like cool enough, it would like not stick to that. I'm just but spinning it. Yeah, that's not what happened there. Although this is does, a good idea. It did come off pretty easy. It's a good it idea. It is warm, yeah. Maybe so, we should have plugged in a little fan to help you like cool it down. So, a what I want to do is I want to make, so I'm going to kind of make this a little bigger, but I don't want to make it too big right now because it could be. Really, really Oh, you know what we need? Those little silicone hot mitts Can that I, I bought. Mine? Can Go get mine? the little silicone hot mitts. We could For probably use those to kind of shape these. Yeah, we'll be okay. It doesn't take long mine? to cool down. Oh, it is. So I'm just going to kind of shape it out how I want it. Yours has a nice rounded end. Mine doesn't. You, you got to be in the camera so they can see you. It's um, kind of sticky, but I just quickly... My yeah, you'll want to let it cool down for a while before you... Um, touch it I think you spinning it whoa gave you a nice rounded edge yeah so what I do is I'm gonna make this a little bigger and then like some swirls for like the handle and then I'll paint it like brown and stuff okay she's oh I like your idea look it so I just keep spinning it and then I have a rounded edge I'm putting some hot glue on right now trying to even it out a little bit so this side is a little too thin. So I'm just using gravity to my advantage here while it cools. I have to make sure the hot glue gun isn't too close to anything. Yeah, we're setting it on there so it doesn't burn anything. Oh, this is kind of going to be floppy because I was just holding it and it's like dripping. Yours is better now. Yeah, see, I think the more you put on there, the more you play with it in layers, the better it works. So the good way to tell when you can touch it is when it kind of gets... Um, so I'm when not it, touching it. So when it first is put on, it's like clear. So when you can touch it, it's like a little foggy. It gets hazy, you think? That's a pretty good uh, um, observation. And you're holding it like this so it like makes a circle, kind of. Yeah, that's a good idea. I think mine is pretty, pretty close. It's not there yet, but it's close. So 
So when it cools mine. down, what are you doing? You're shaping yours once yeah. it's cooled to the touch. So again, you want to be supervised because you don't want to touch the hot glue and get burned, right? I never got burned. I only used the hot glue once, and my friend was watching. I mean, like, my her parents was watching. Because it is hot that it could, like, be... You could burn. <laughs> Definitely, I burned myself a lot of times on hot glue. Just kind of got a little bl blood blister on my finger. Mm. So now I'm just kind of evening out my edge here. The hot glue connects. like leaves hairs. <laughs> well, those we can burn off with the hot, my uh, heat gun. We'll be able to get those off. So I'm just kind of tapering this down. Trying to even it out. That's what's Yours fun, is the best. fun about this project is it's supposed to look like a like a tree branch, right? Like a twig? Yeah. So it's not supposed to look perfect. It's not supposed to look really, really perfect, like a wand really perfect. Right. Somewhere I have some little beads we can add in. I messed mine up. Well, you know what's good is you can pick it off and start over again. Yeah, I can melt it. Just Let me see it down. where my little beads are. I'm melting it down with the side of the hot glue gun. I have little glass beads. Let me find those. Because I think those would be fun to add to. So a good idea is to melt it I down. I can't see what you're doing. There melt you it down. You, you use the side. side. Yeah, very good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to make it a little the the end a little bigger. Like it's not just one little dot. Oh, there goes the hot glue hair. And I'm just gonna make sure the hot glue doesn't like drip all over. What I'm doing now is to kind of help it shape like hers, because hers is like really good. So Did you just say mine's really good? Mm-hmm. Because mm -hmm. it is. Don't touch that. You gotta let it cool a few more minutes. Yep. Or seconds. And I'll just let it flow down. Okay, now this is a good shape. I'm gonna hold it. really paying attention of how it goes so now I so now that I'm looking at it I know that I can kind of melt it down on the side okay I found them so these are little little glass little crystal I don't know what they are they're little beads and we can Oh, they're really small beads. They yeah, look like can, sand. Yeah, we can use those on there. To, like, make the texture. Yeah. I might have... I'm just spinning mine around. How did yours come out so perfect? The other thing you can do if you're worried about your hot glue sticking is we can use twine and tie that around mm -hmm. to make your thing. So maybe we'll do one with hot glue and we'll do some with... I'm going to do mine with hot glue. <laughs> but, well, we can... Since make we have some 10, other ones. We, can use, we can make other ones, different ones. Mine's still a little tacky, but that's okay. So I'm going to okay, do... Okay, mine's going to be really sloppy, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Right. And kind of melt it down to maybe help I need it. I another glue stick in mine. Kind of help shape it with the heat. So I'm squeezing the glue and turning it. Oh boy. Yeah, um, that's what I want to do. Okay, I'm smoothing it out really good. And right here I want a big, like section that kind of breaks off 
oops, not necessarily like that, but that's a good handle. Whoa, it's globbing. Oh, that's not the bad. I'm just gonna kind of spread it out. Burning wood, burning wood. Oh, wait, maybe that was me because I was holding it on the wood. Never mind. All right. I kind of made it a little better. It's kind of like a circle now. Okay. And I'm just on my lower part here, where it's still kind of globby. I'm going to... Oh. You always need those uh, cup things, whatever they're called. I think that'll give it a neat feel. So, why did you all of a sudden get interested in Harry Potter? So, I saw people watching them on, like, YouTube. And I saw them, like, making crafts and stuff and banners. So, I thought, oh, maybe I should see how the movie is. Oh. And I just said, like, oh, Mommy, can we, can we watch Harry Potter? I've been seeing cool things about it. And she was like, oh, yeah, you're old enough for it to, to understand it. And that's how I started liking it. So we are through most of the movies. We're I think on, we only have the last two to watch now. We're on, like, the seventh one. Which, actually, the last two are one big movie. They broke it up in part one and part two because oh, okay. it's so long. What do you think so far of the movies? They're really good. And I like the first couple where they would play, um, what's it called, Quidditch? Yeah. I like that. So if you were to play Quidditch, which position would you like? I would probably, um, probably be the one that can, like, hit the ball. Okay. So, did you take a Harry Potter quiz? Yes, I did. And what did you come up? Which house are you in? Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff? Do you like that? Yes. Oh, mm. um, and my friend, she took the same one that I took, and she came out of the Hufflepuff. I, I think I just want to thicken this up. What are you? Uh, I don't know. I don't probably think... Hufflepuff because you would do. I don't most think of the I've like taken the test. You would probably be Hufflepuff because you're like me. You mean you're like me? <laughs> I mean you are like my little clone. I'm like you, and you're like me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start doing the handle now since this should be dry. So I'm just gonna start right here. Uh, uh, mine needs to new glue. Oh, I got you some more glue sticks here. Let's do this shorter one. Push that in. Go ahead, try that. Okay. Okay, you're not in camera. They can't see you. There you go. It's okay. Go ahead. I think I made my handle too small. I think I'm going to have to just keep making it bigger. Oh, yours is good. I like it. You have been talking about making wands for the last, like, three days. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> it's okay, okay. I know it'll peel know off of there. Don't worry about no, it. No, I, I actually have a good idea what to do. I'm going to try to make it like yours, kind of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make lines here and then make more up. I'm just going to keep building this handle part up because I really want this to be the thickest part of my wand. Okay. I'm going to try to have this part come off. So I'm going to wait till it's fully dry. Hopefully you don't mess up yours because you already put beads on it. I know, that would really suck. I didn't because I'm scared that it will fall everywhere too. The thing is, so I don't want to make it like the full thing is covered. I mean, I can because we watched a video and she used, well, she didn't pour it all on. She used the glue sticks. But I can still do that. Oh, she used a lot of glue sticks. <laughs> yeah. That girl was... Always see the steam. That girl was very glue stick happy. Glue stick happy. Okay, so I need to stay, like, here in. Okay, mine should be dry. Let me check. 
Uncle Gunner is trying to run away. Okay. I'm going to try to just, like, get this off with my fingernails. Okay, I'm just going to put it in here. Watch out. I feel like a glass blower, like having to make sure that everything goes in the right direction. Okay, I'm peeling it off. It's going good. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. It's stuck to the side. Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay. Hopefully, I don't have to pull off the ball because that took a while to perfect. Oh, yeah, I messed up in here. It's okay. You can peel it off on the container. Yeah, it's not too bad. I can't. I can fix it. My arm is probably going to be okay. 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 I finally almost got it all. <laughs> that looks so cool. Whoa, it kind of looks like a mushroom. <laughs> that gave me an idea. I should make a mushroom wand. I wanted it a little more rounded, but I think Not it'll mushroom. look better once I paint it. Okay, let's try to... Do you have scissors that you can cut this off? Because uh, I don't want to ruin the Yeah, ball. I can heat it and we can peel it off. Hold on. Oh, wait, never mind. I got it. You did? Okay, now it's clean again. So I have an idea. I'm going to try to make, like, scrapes. Oops. Why don't you try using the fab... Let's try the fabric on yours, because I don't think... I think that'll be easier. And if you don't like it, we can always go back and make another one. So we'll set mine to dry, and then what you'll do is put a little. I might here. I put might. a little tip of glue at the top there. Wait, oops. just a, nope, right there under your thing. Yep. Okay, stop. And then we'll put the twine on. Put this on. Let me grab tweezers or something because so you don't burn yourself. Nobody wants to get burnt. And, and I can always make a new one without the ball. Do. Yeah, so we can do a tight twist around. Yeah, I want that for the, like the handle. Like this. Okay, can I start doing it? You want to do it like that? Yeah. Okay, how about uh, you start twisting this to like about here and make it real nice and tight. Now hold that a second. Let me put a nice thin coat of glue. You got to hold this in the camera so they can see. Right there. I'm just going to do this so that when you twist it around, it'll stay on there. Okay? There you go. And I think if you turn hands. your wand, it'll be easier. And that way you don't have to worry about your fingers getting too close to the glue. That's okay. I just hold it like... All right, so this video isn't too long. I think they get the idea. You take the stick, you put your glue, your beads, your twine, whatever you want on there. And then uh, I think we do a quick coat of gesso and then we paint it. And you could obviously do thicker twine and do more. I like, I'm going to leave this it, one pretty simple like this, I think. I should do this before the glue dries down here. Because they do dry pretty quickly, like, less than a minute. Yeah, so mine's pretty all much right. done. Okay, are you done? Yep. Okay, so I'm going to put a bead of glue all around the bottom there so that when you stick it down, it will stay. Okay, I'll finish that off for you. So I don't burn myself. Okay, and have baby girl burning herself on video. Ooh, excuse you. Okay, so I think that's good. Everything is glued down nice and tight. I'm going to tuck that in. The glue should be dry. And, and I'll see how it... How it fits in my hand. I'm just gonna take this and kind of poke it down in place there. And then for the tip, I'm kind of make like not really a pointy tip, but like rounded tip. So pointy and round. Okay. Do you like that? Can I see how it looks on my hand? Yeah. Be careful. Hmm. 
Okay. It's a little smaller. But it's okay. It's good. All right. So, and that's a lot of people use chopsticks we saw online, yeah. right? All right. So, we're just going to put a big glob of that down. <laughs> this is just white gesso because I think this will help the paint stick better to the mm -hmm. hot glue. I'll take this one. You take yep. that one. Okay. And camera's over here, Leah. Where you put the paint. Oops. Get glue this is a nice, glue boogies. This is a nice brush. I'm just going to start painting here. Yeah, you really want to get it in there. So I'm going to paint here because I don't really think about painting on top of the glue or twine yet. But I might think about it. I think if we just put regular acrylic paint on here, it will eventually peel off. Because yeah. we're not really sanding these down. And I'm pretty sure they're not sanded. Paint the and you tip. want to be really thick with this. Really jab it in there. So you're painting on top of your glue. Yep. Since I don't have glue. <laughs> um. Oh, you're doing the tip first. Oh. Mm-hmm. Because I'm thinking about the twine and stuff. but. Well, you're going to paint over all of it. What color are you going to make yours? Probably like um, the chocolate brown. Okay, so then I'll make mine black maybe. When they were doing it, they were doing Voldemort's wand. Uh, wand. Isn't his white? Isn't it like made out of bone or something? Yeah. I forget. It's like but his yeah. wand is what, like the cousin or the brother to Harry Potter's wand? Mm-hmm. Tom Riddle. <laughs> What do you like so far about the movies? Like, what was your favorite part? My favorite part is probably in just one of the movies, which is when um, they had to do, like, the maze thing, and, like, they oh. wanted Harry to touch the, the cup, and that's when they went into, like, battle with Voldemort. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was kind of scary, huh? I mean, I liked it. Is that the first time they showed, like, a kid died, right? Yeah. That wizard died. Oh, sad. This is pretty neat looking, Leah. Thanks for uh, having me do this with you. Yeah, it's fun. So, what kind of um, what kind of magic sayings do you know? I know leviosa. What does that mean? Like levitate something. Yes, very good. Big word for a little girl. Okay. Um, I don't know any other. Yeah, what's the one about turning the lights on? We said. Um. I forget. <laughs> Isn't it luminous? Luminous. I almost said, uh, Lewis. Why does my paper look like this? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to let mine dry a little bit here, and then I'll paint the tip, and we'll get into painting. All right, so we are already 23 minutes into it. I'm going to pause this. We're going to do some painting, and we're going to come back. Okay, guys, so we have gessoed our wands, and we just used some regular Art Basics Heavy Gesso White. And then we painted them, and for painting, we used our Arteza Outdoor Acrylic Colors. I'll link these down below. These are great paints to use for all kinds of projects, and because they're indoor-outdoor, it just makes it easier that you don't have to seal anything when you're done. So we're going to let these dry, and then we will bring in some accent colors. Okay, guys, so I have now taken some Arteza iridescent paint, the acrylic colors. This is electric plum purple, and I have painted my wand, and it's really neat. I know the camera just doesn't give it justice, but it switches like this purple and blue color. Looks really neat. So I'm going to work on my twine that I put on there and my handle with some other colors. I think I'm going to add some gold in there, and I'll be back. Okay, here's my wand. Leah's is still drying, so she hasn't painted hers. But all I did here was, after I was done with that iridescent paint, I just took some of the Arteza gold paint and painted over my, um, again, this is the outdoor acrylic paint, painted over my twine that I just kind of um, put on there. And then I just took my finger and rubbed that gold paint right over the top of my black handle. And now I have my little 
wand. So there we go. I hope you guys have some fun. It just takes a little bit of hot glue gun and a little bit of inexpensive dowels. Um, also, you can use uh, wooden chopsticks will work as well. And then whatever paints you have around the house um, will work. Use what you have. Hot glue works great as well. And enjoy making your own little magic wands. Thanks for watching, guys. And see you later. Bye-bye.